Okay. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Mahsa Salehi, and I am a lecturer in the faculty. And my area of research is machine learning. Um, today, I'm very excited to talk about one of my research projects with you, uh, which is hacking the brain to make driving safer. But before I, ex I explain how we can actually hack the brain to make driving safer, I actually talk about how we can uh, hack the brain itself. Um, nowadays, we have uh, wearable devices like, uh, and different types of wearable devices like smartwatches, like Fitbits uh, or Apple watches, and we use that to monitor uh, physical activities. Uh, for example, you, would, you can uh, know how many steps you take in a day or how much exercise you do every day with these wearable devices. Uh, with the, in the recent years, though, with the advancement of uh, brain-computer interface, we can see other types of, uh, the emergence of other types of wearable devices to monitor uh, uh, the, human, uh, the human brain. And that's very cool. That's opened up like, lots of cool things that we can do. For example, I have one of those wearable devices here with me that I use. I can wear it simply and uh, that I use it in this research. This is a headset that is manufactured by Emotive, uh, the, a company that I am collaborating in this research with. And uh, I use, uh, um, and you can just wear it and turn it on. And the brain, your brain activities will be sent to your mobile phone and you can visualize it and see the, your brain activities. And uh, also, if you want, you can teach the computers to inter how to interpret it. And that's actually what machine learning is, to teaching computer to interpret lots of data, and in this case, your brain activities. And, um, and this is actually how we can, like in this research, we hack the brain to inter interpret this uh, large uh, amount of data that comes, like our brain activities. And there are different, when it comes to, you know, brain reading, mind reading and interpretation of brain, you can think about many different cool and interesting applications. And one of them, for example, that I have here on the middle, in the middle of the slide, is a handicap that can uh, just wear these de such devices and just think about different things, for example, moving forward. And the wheelchair can move forward without using his legs or arms and just by the power of mind. And that's very uh, interesting. So the way that how it works is that we can capture the brain readings of the handicapped and we can actually use machine learning to interpret that those to, into commands, different commands like moving forward or turning left and turning right. And the wheelchair can turn left and turn right just with the power of mind. Another example is uh, you, yeah, most of you might, uh, ha might be interested in computer games and use remote controls to actually play, like move the avatars to different places. So just imagine that you can sit and think about these ha things happening, like throwing objects or lifting objects, and the avatar can do that for you. Or another very interesting application would be uh, using, uh, piloting a drone, again, by the power of your mind. So these are all uh, very interesting things that you can do with uh, like reading people's mind and also interpreting them. And uh, today, I, uh, in my research actually, what I wanted to talk about uh, today is to uh, identify whether drivers are distracted or not. And you might guess that what it's helpful so for safety, right? So we, we actually, for the purposes of safety, we, uh, we are interested to identify whether drivers are distracted or not. And this is what my research is about. Uh, based on some research, uh, recent studies, about 80% of crashes and 65% of near crashes are, uh, have some form of driver inatten uh, inattention as contributing factors. This means that a huge amount of, you know, n number of road fatalities are, are because of driver inattention. So it would be very beneficial if we can 
uh, find out when the drivers are distracted, and if they are distracted, we send an alert to them in real, li real time so that we can actually uh, save lives. And uh, so, so I'm, now I'm going to a bit more specifically talk about what I'm doing in this research. So there are a number of participants in a, that's uh, actually participated in a driver uh, driving simulation, where they drive. The, we ask the drivers to drive and wear these headsets. And these headsets has uh, they they has fourteen. They have fourteen uh, EEG sensors or brain sensors in them that they actually monitor brain in real time, and we capture their brain reading over that uh, period of time of the simulation. And, and we also uh, impose some specific distraction scenarios in this, uh, in this experiment. We ask them to actually, we talk with them, or ask them to send a text message, or ask them to record a call, or uh, talk over the phone. So these are all different types of distraction. Um, another thing, another cool thing that we did was that we put some um, arithmetic challenges uh, along the road and we asked the drivers to solve them. For example, two, what's two plus two uh, multiplied by 10? So lots of these arithmetic challenges are put on the, uh, along the road and we asked the drivers as they reach to those uh, challenges, we asked them to solve that. And that uh, resembles a scenario in real life where drivers are easily distracted by big uh, billboard signs along the road. So uh, we have these, kind, these types of uh, driver uh, uh, like distraction um, uh, types or scenarios. And this is uh, what the brain signals look like. As you can see here, there are like, these are the brain readings of the drivers. And you can see that for some period of time they are distracted and for some period of time they are focused. And this can happen. And these are all the inputs to our machine learning. Uh, after the data collection, we actually developed machine learning algorithms to identify when they are distracted. And how it happens that like these machine learning algorithms work is that they actually identify, they learn what are the patterns of distraction and what are the patterns of focus. And they learn that for some period of time. And then for new drivers, for new brain reading, they would actually automatically identify what is the distraction pattern is in future. And um, we have actually tested the, our machine learning algorithms uh, with new people, with new drivers. And uh, we uh, actually evaluated our algorithms and saw that the algorithm, and you can see the results on the right hand side of the slide, where the, uh, where higher, the, like the higher the bars, the more accurate is our algorithm to identify distraction. And you can see that the results are promising, and we've achieved a high detection accuracy. So uh, going back to the motivation of this study of uh, road safety and saving lives, you can imagine uh, in future, people can actually, uh, just like now that they use seat belts for their safety, they might actually use this kind of technology that we've developed in the faculty of IT to monitor and to actually give feedback in real time to their drivers so that drivers uh, are more safe and we can actually uh, hopefully save lives. And you can see that's how it is impactful in terms of the, like, it has a high impact in, uh, to, in society. So if you want to do, so that's it from my research. If you want to do something similar to these projects in the uh, common, uh, study in the faculty of IT, you can do lots of these uh, cool things. Uh, just as a side note, there is a demo of these uh, headsets uh, happening in, in uh, the digital health area. So if you want to play around with these headsets or check them, uh, I think it's until 1 p.m. You can go and check that after this presentation. <clears throat> 
Um, that's it. Thank you so much for your attention, and uh, I hope that I'll uh, see you in the uh, coming years in the faculty. Thanks.